Hello Pathfinders, All Stars, Comets and Sparklers. Welcome to our second week together in this new way. We're going to be hearing from Caroline Hattie later in this video, but I wonder if you can guess where I am? Hmm. Yes, that's right. I'm at home. We are now advised to remain at home except for a few important reasons, and one of them is a daily piece of exercise. I wonder what exercise you've been doing. Maybe you could let me know and I can mention it in our next video. Last week there was a resource pack online and there's one again this week. Last week we looked at Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 and it says this, Children, obey your parents the way the Lord wants. This is the right thing to do. That's a great verse, but a hard verse, a challenging verse. Our parents are nearly always right, but sometimes it's hard to listen to them and do what they say. God wants us to listen to our parents and honour them by doing what they ask. Now, many of you sent in photos of what you've been learning that from God's word and the activities that Caroline, Hattie and I had made. So let me show you some of them now. They were great. Please keep sending your photos in so I can share them next week. With our lives all looking very different at the moment, I've asked Caroline and Hattie the question, how has God been helping you? So let's look at what they've said. Hello Comets and Sparklers, I hope you've all been having fun playing in the sun. This week God's helped me to remember that he's always there with me even if I can't see him. This week I've been planting some seeds. Look how tiny these are. They've grown. I put them in the soil and then I've watered them. Then I stared at them for a while and they weren't growing. I couldn't see them grow. But then after a few days and after a week, I came back and I saw how much they'd grown. This reminded me that God is there with me, helping me to grow all the time, if, even if I can't see it. Hello, All Stars. Good to be chatting to you, sitting here on my sofa in the sunshine at home. I hope that you've been enjoying the sunshine this week. Maybe that's one of the things that God has used to help you get through the week. And like Ed's been asking us to think about how God has been with us and helped us. So I've been thinking about how God has helped me and remembering that the Bible encourages us to think about what God has been doing in our lives. There's a verse in Psalm 143 that says, I remember what happened long ago. I recall everything you have done. And I think about all you have made. So let me think about how God has helped me this week. Well, one of the things that God has definitely used is a song. It's called The Goodness of God. It's by a church in Bethel in America. And it talks about how faithful God is, how faithful he has been and how faithful he is now. And I found it really helpful to be reminded that he is with me, even though things have changed a lot over the last week. So that song really encouraged me and I think there's a link for it in the description if you want to listen to it. And then another thing that God has used this week to help me is my dog. And I wondered if you'd like to meet him. I'll see if he'd like to meet you. His name is Blue. Blue? Come on. Now he's rolling around in the sunshine on the floor. But he's been really good company this week, a bit naughty at times. He, um, he's found some new friends in the neighbour's garden to play with, but never mind. Um, but he's kept me company this week and it's been fun to have him around. And then another thing that's helped me this week are a couple of people who you might know, Ed and Hattie. So we've been um, in touch with each other through video praying together, thinking together about what to put together in the pack for you guys for this Sunday. And that's been really, really good fun to do and to sort of just be with people that I normally would see almost every day and just to be able to see them over video has been a way that God has helped me this week. Thanks, Caroline and Hattie. Great to hear from you both. Maybe you guys at home can reflect on how God has been helping you this past week. You could tell a family member or talk about it over dinner. This week we're looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Let me read it for us. 
Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endures such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Verse 2 is our memory verse, and we've got two familiar faces to help us with this. So I'll see you outside in the garden after their video. Hello everyone, I am Hannah and Caitlin, and we are here from the Together Time team to help you with your memory verse today. So before we get started, to make sure this memory verse goes to a T, can you all grab some sunglasses so we can all get into the groove together? So pause the video now and get your sunglasses. What? Okay, so now we're assuming you've got your sunglasses and if you don't have any sunglasses, that is okay too. But now what I thought I'd say is uh, we are going to do the, we are going to have me lead and Caitlin follow. So when I when I sing, don't sing, and sing with Caitlin, and then we'll shake it up a bit um, as we go later on. So maestro. Right, can we all bring the sunglasses down? Great, weren't they? 
I hope you've learned your memory verses from that. Send in a picture of your best memory verse pose. Here's mine. Or maybe send in pictures of the things that you're making over the week ahead. Send them in and then I can share them in next week's video. Let me pray for us all. Heavenly Father, the week that we've just had has been difficult in many ways. Father, help us in the week ahead. Help us look to Jesus. Thank you for his example. We pray that you'll be with us every day. Amen. Well, it's been great hanging out with you again this week. See you next week. <laughs>